Hey, hey you, yeah you. Do you want to know how to swap between textures? Then is this a tutorial for you? So if you see here, do -dum, do -dum, do -dum, do -dum. oh. Welcome everybody. So today I'm gonna teach you a little something. So what I'm gonna teach you is how to swap between um, textures. So um, if you see in the front of you, we have um, three objects, but that's not what we want. We want one object and we want to swap between those three textures. So um, that's what I, I'm gonna teach you today. So um, I'm just gonna give you a little example. So what I'm gonna teach you so um, if you've seen here, this is just a jungle tree from my um, tree pack that I'm making right now. So um, if you see also in the user data, there is a wood texture. So um, if you turn this up, you see the texture from the log turns to another texture. If you've seen here, look closely to, the, to this, there's just two textures and um, if you um, swap the slider from the wood texture you see a um, texture from the tree changes so um, that's what we gonna do today so um, let's go back to our project so um, first of all what we will what we want to do so um, I made a little tutorial folder so um, a little important thing is we need textures in a folder so um, let's just drag these objects in here so um, you can remove your objects because we just need the texture folder so um, we have those three textures so um, that's what we want so um, you can also remove your other things so we have one object right now so that's what we want so um, first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a user data so um, add user data. So um, now we have user data. So um, let's name this texture. And then the data type is float. We're gonna use a float slider for this one. You can also use another type, but today in this tutorial, I will use floats. And then a float slider. So um, the units we're gonna choose real. So because we got three textures in this one, we're gonna use the min minimum. The minimum texture is gonna be one, so um, one and the maximum three. So um, you can swap between three things. So one, two, and three. And the default, we're gonna just leave this at one. So um, press okay. So um, now if you click this object, we get a user data, so um, texture. So that's what we want. So um, now we're gonna create a little expresso. So um, let's just go to Cinema 4D tags. Then at the bottom you see an um, expresso. So that's what we want. So um, in here you see a, a little area. So just drag this over here. So um, you can see what you're doing in here and um, also your expresso. So the first thing in the expresso what we will do is just drag this um, object into your expresso. So we have a little column in here. So the first thing we will do is um, just choose from the expression here. So what we will do is click this red area. So um, we go to user data, then texture. So this, the texture, it's gonna control the texture from here. So um, the next thing we will do to um, choose between those two, three things. So um, New node expresso, then we're gonna go to logic and compare. So because we have three textures, we're gonna choose um, three comparators. And if you don't know what I just did, I just clicked control on your keyboard and then drag it under the other comparator and it will make a copy of the exact same comparator. So um, we're just gonna bind those two to um, the inputs from the one 
input one. So now we have connection between those two um, three comparators. So um, the first comparator you see in here, there's an input. So we're gonna name these one. So what that will do is it will control um, the part if you're selected on one and the next part we're gonna use two so um, if you um, swap the slider to two it will um, do a thing that we will um, do later in this tutorial so um, this we're gonna name three so um, now we have three um, comparators so the next thing what you want to do for change the, changing the textures is what we're gonna go to new node expresso logic and a condition this is what you will need to um, change the texture so let's just make three of those and um, the output from the first comparator is uh, we're gonna combine those to the switch from the conditions and then also this to the switch and then the output to the switch so now what we want to do is because we want those to switch to this one and then this one to switch to this one we're gonna do the output to the input and then the output again to the input so um, what we want to do now is just choose the textures so um, first of all we're gonna go to notes we're gonna select all of those make sure you're in the notes um, thing here so um, the data type, we're gonna go to real to um, texture. In here, you just select the texture. You click on those, and um, now what you can do is just link a texture in here. So let's go to the first one, and um, then what we just did in the beginning of the tutorial is made a texture folder. So um, now from here, you just got to. Um, set those textures in here in the texture area so um, we're gonna do this for the three textures so the first one you choose one texture and then for the second one you choose another one and then for the last condition yeah, we choose this one so now we have the three um, textures selected but now we want to control the texture objects so um, we're just gonna drag this in here well first of all let's do um, open the material editor so um, we select this and we drag it over here so we have a bitmap from the texture so um, let's just go to the blue area and we go to um, the shader pr properties and then you're gonna choose file so what that will do is um, you're gonna change the file from um, this object so in here so with that you can control the texture so um, if you see in here it swaps to an other texture so um, if you now see in the texture slider we can now control between textures and there's only one object so um, it's really handy so I'm um, just for the tree that uh, is a good use so um, that's the tutorial I guess see now we can um, swap between textures with one object so um, bye guys Thank you.